Hey guys, it is finally time to build the police station. What is this? Wait, hold on a second. Actually, what is flying back here? Oh, this town cannot be completed without doing a police station. It's back. I'm so confused. I actually really love this building. I think it is so perfect. It is quite small, as you can tell. So we're gonna have to utilize the downstairs basement a lot, but that's fine. To be honest, personally, I have never walked inside of a police station before in my entire life. So I'm not totally sure how it's going to be done. However, I have seen multiple tiktok videos where people get arrested for various reasons so i have kind of an idea about what i need to have at least let's take a look we don't have a whole bunch of our file size left so that is something that i have to take into consideration so this first floor i think is pretty obvious we're just gonna need a lobby and like a little reception area this is obviously a garage so we'll block this area off a little bit i'm honestly just gonna use these good enough for me I think we're just gonna go with the simple ugly looking tiles the one thing that I do know that we need in this police station is a booking room so from my understanding this is where officers take the people that they just arrested they put in all their information and put them in a cell I might have that completely wrong but that's going to go downstairs you obviously don't want windows or anything okay so I'm not totally sure what's going to go in the rest of this room can a car even fit in here I have such a bad habit of making garages way too small for an actual car. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but you know what? It works. Okay, so we're gonna walk inside and there's gonna be a desk here. There also has to be windows looking out because right in front is going to be the cells. I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> Maybe just one bench and we need some lockers, right? For these people to put their things. We'll have a couple locker options. Options is if they get to choose. <laughs> we will need a little teeny tiny bathroom. Also right here, I want that little photo booth section. I, I don't think it's called a photo booth, but where they take the mugshot photos. Ooh, we don't need that crazy of a camera. I'm gonna put that on a stand somehow. I know this is an intercom, but I feel like I feel like that's a necessary thing to be here. I'm gonna put a little X in the ground. This is where the person has to stand for the picture. Let's do three cells, and then we need three of these doors. I feel like all police stations still have these kinds of computers, so I'm gonna use that. I don't know if that's super realistic but we're also gonna have a phone right there let's put a remote and of course we need some walkie talkies everywhere i'm gonna do a little bit of rearranging the photo is actually going to be on this side and then the interrogation room will be over here that way there can be a desk where someone can look inside just like this coffee station section right here because i can imagine when they're interrogating someone they offer coffee and stuff as for the table in here we're just gonna do a super super basic simplicity table or let's do this one perfect if i'm not mistaken these aren't really supposed to have a whole bunch in them maybe just some benches these are supposed to be temporary right i don't know i don't know let's just do these like fake beds in every room and then we'll put a stool i think that could be used as a weapon for now i'm just gonna leave it at that obviously this needs a little bit more decor and coloring and stuff but for the most part this is good so this is the upstairs i'm thinking i'm going to put a couple of desks lining this wall like this over here can be like uniforms or something and then each of these will have a chair right in here we'll have some sort of evidence office i don't know and then back here i'm gonna do some sort of like meeting room like squad something <laughs> kind of tight but they'll make it work all of these desks are gonna have the ugly computers too and then i really think in here it should just be a bunch of like evidence things i'm just not quite sure what to use as the evidence i guess these boxes we'll just pretend they're actually full of things and then this i'm gonna fill with random objects that are supposed to be also evidence wait you know what i totally forgot that I should add the flag in more of my buildings. I'm gonna see if this looks good. I don't know where to put it. Whatever. For now, I'm just gonna leave one because I don't really think <laughs> it matches the vibe very well. I desperately need lighting, so I'm gonna take a second and add things everywhere. 
I feel like these booking areas are always super, super like bright white. I don't know if this is too much though. I kind of like this look of bringing the floor up a little bit. Hopefully this wall trim isn't too much file size. Let's bring the ceiling down and use also a crown molding. I feel like I missed a spot, but I think, I think we're good. All of this stuff honestly can just be super dually colored. That was such a weird way of saying that. Okay, I think that all of these colors look pretty good. This kind of feels accurate. We really just need things on the walls. I definitely want to put these like, I don't know, cork boards, calendar, maybe a little coat rack up here too. I can just picture these places being super busy with a lot of clutter. So let's go into all. Maybe we can put a pizza box. <laughs> maybe that's too much. Definitely want a coffee mug. Pops love coffee. Post-it notes, pens, papers, all of that. I'm literally just putting the most random things. We obviously need to put that picture of the mug shot like measurements this one should do i'm just gonna put this camera on top of like a hat stand like this is that weird i don't know does that look stupid yeah no that's that's maybe not not good honestly let's just go upstairs and finish all of this in final touches as for this lobby i'm gonna make everything this very light shade of blue like super muted i'm gonna block off the reception area this isn't really gonna make sense i'm gonna move this up so that there's not a whole lot of room for people to jump the counter, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if, if that's like a real worry. Okay. I think I'm actually going to add a door right here instead of it just being open to the public since this leads up to all of the desks and stuff up there. So this should probably be locked at all times. I don't really know how to make this place feel comforting. Regular chairs like this or maybe like this. No, I don't know. This is super, super tight, but I feel like this is kind of what I pictured. Whoever gets this chair is the lucky one. This looks not not very cozy. I'm also going to add a layer of glass just underneath here, just for the safety of the people that work here. You never know. I have no idea what to put on this back desk though. Definitely a telephone. Probably one of these old computers. <laughs> Let's put a clock. What else? I think this is going to be like an alarm system sort of thing. We definitely need some security cameras in here. So let's put one facing that direction. Let's also put one outside just like that. Once again, I am going to finish all of this up during the final touches. Honestly, everything up here is pretty much done. I just need to do some obvious coloring and stuff and filling in decals. But I guess that means it's final touch time for real. So I will finish this up completely and be right back. Guys, the police station is finally done. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I can't believe I've never made something like this before. I think I might have made a prison like seven years ago, but that does not count. Before I show you the inside, I just want to say the town is currently worth $2,285,000. And the plot data size is at 90.8. That's kind of a little bit crazy, but not to worry. I think we can make it work. Without further ado, this is what the police station looks like. There's this little gate in in the front where you go into a courtyard. Of course, there's security cameras outside. There's security cameras everywhere around here. This is the lobby. She's pretty simple. It is a very, very small space, so I kind of had to make do with what I had. But here is the front desk area. It is covered with a little bit of glass. You can't jump. All you can do is sign papers and talk to whoever's working here. I made these signs custom, clearly. I use, I think this is the New York Police Department and I just changed it to City of Rosemary instead. <laughs> Let's head on to the right first. This is what leads to the booking area. Of course, we have the super tiny garage in here. It is literally just enough for one car and you can only just barely get out of the car. <laughs> and then if you head on inside, there's just kind of, um, I don't know, a storage area. There's not anything really over here. And then if you go downstairs, this is where we have the booking area. Like I said before, I think this is where the police officers take people who have just been arrested. They kind of get checked in and everything, if you will. So over here we have where you can take your mug shot. You just stand on the X. It has your height. That's so weird. It jumps from five feet to 
five six. So I think I'm about five three, if I were to guess. Five six if you're counting my hair. This is just a screen where that photo will show up and I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> right inside here is the bathroom. This is where the inmates will get changed. Are they called inmates? This is just a police station. This isn't a prison. So I think this is just temporary. I'm not sure the, how long people can stay in here, but obviously just very small. It, it's the middle area before they go into prison or get released and everything else from what I've gathered. Right inside here is kind of just the workstation for everyone who works down here. There's a computer, files, and all these controls and stuff. This is a TV that is theoretically to watch the cameras, but obviously it's a TV, so we don't have that. There are lockers for the people to put their things. And of course, we have the jail cells back here. They are just kind of a very uncomfortable bed with a blanket, which I feel like I shouldn't even offer a blanket, but there's a blanket and a pillow, and that is absolutely it. Again, it's not a prison, so they don't get a toilet inside. Right outside here is the interrogation room. So over here, we have the desk where they are looking inside. You know how they always have a window. So there's someone in here watching. And then on the other side, well, there's a coffee station, of course, because, you know, everyone loves coffee. And then inside here is where the suspect sits. So the suspect sits right here. They get questioned by the police. Technically, you aren't supposed to be able to see through here, but obviously, Bloxburg doesn't have one-way windows. Of course, there's a camera and a speaker. This room is soundproof, so you need a speaker. And that is everything for downstairs. So if we go upstairs through the lobby. Did I show you what was back here? This is the front desk. It's nothing crazy, just computer controls and a wanted board, just so they can keep an eye out for anyone who's passing by, walking in, make sure that they're not on this board. And yeah, so over here, this is the lobby. Of course, there's just some chairs. There's some black and white photos of some old police officers from around the city, some couches, nothing crazy. And then if you go on upstairs, this is where the work table work tables the desks for the workers here obviously the police officers when they're off duty this is where they work um ignore this picture of the ace family i tried to look up family photos and they were the only one that showed up that wasn't roblox characters so this is a little closet to put the uniforms on we also have a crime board i have no idea what this is for this person just has a picture of their dog i think it's so cute and yeah this should be playing the news pretty much at all times just to keep everyone in the room updated for any new stories, breaking news and stuff. Again, we have some portraits on the wall. This is the evidence room. There's a whole bunch of files and stuff. And then this is evidence that's currently being investigated and held. And then last but not least, we just have a boardroom kind of thing. My picture disappeared. Oh no. But yeah, this is just for meetings and such. Very small and cozy. And yeah, that is it for the police station. I cannot believe, I feel like it actually turned out pretty accurate. Like I said, I've never been to a police station so i don't know but for the city of rosemary this is this is all you can ask for thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already all my social medias are in the description if you want to go give those a follow and i will see you in the next one bye